It's good to see you here. So when this whole COVID thing started, I told you we would be first. I told you that we would figure out a way to get through this. Um, but to do that, we had to have a place to go. Florida was the leader in getting things open, bringing back sports, you name it. These guys have been very good to us, and uh, we couldn't have done it without the state. There's a lot of people to thank, but uh, let me start with Governor DeSantis, Mayor Curry of Jacksonville, the Executive Director of the Florida State Boxing Commission, Patrick Cunningham, We could not have done it without these guys. They, they were key to everything, getting things back, getting sports back, but definitely have been key to getting the UFC here. So when we came out here and we did the first show with no fans, I told them, listen, when this thing opens back up and you're ready for fans, we'll come back and uh, we will repay Jacksonville for this uh, favor you did for us. So here we are. I'm going to turn it over to Governor DeSantis. All right, thank you, Dana. Welcome to Florida. For those of you who don't live here, we're happy to be hosting this. Very early on in this COVID, you know, they, we were told 15 days we needed to slow the spread, but the athletics stopped, all the leagues stopped, and then we got a couple more weeks into it. It was like, wait a minute, are we ever gonna do anything again? And Dana White was the one guy that was like, we're fighting, we're gonna find a way to do it. And I told Dana, And I told Dana, I said, you come to Florida, we will make it happen. And UFC last May was the first sport back with live competition anywhere in the country. And we appreciated uh, it being here. Obviously, thank Mayor Curry for Jacksonville being willing to do it. But you know, we didn't have the big fans for it yet. And I told Dana, I said, listen, when you guys are ready to come, you know, have the have the crowd, Florida needs to be the first place to do UFC with all the fans. And to his credit, he said, we will be there in Florida. And so we were waiting to figure out, you know, when was going to make sense. And then they said, we want to do it in April. And we're like, you know, we're, we're welcome. We're open state. We want people to be able to come and make decisions for themselves about what they want to attend and not want to attend. And so this is going to be, this is going to be the first full throttle uh, arena sporting event uh, since COVID hit. And indoor. Indoor, yeah. Anywhere, anywhere in the United States. And I think it's fitting and I just want to say, when we deal with these issues, you know, we want to basically you know, do things, give people information, be safe, all that. But there's a lot of stuff that comes flying at you, particularly from media, social media, all this stuff. And some people don't like to handle that. Dana White goes right into the teeth of that and says, I'm going to do what's right. I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to hold the line. And I think that UFC is better for his courage. And quite frankly, this event is good for Florida. We're happy y'all are going to have a good time. But it's going to be great for people that are watching on TV to see the fans back, to see all this stuff happening. So I just want to give you a warm Florida welcome. Uh, we thank you for being here. I'm excited to be here. And, and I know the mayor uh, is excited to be here. So welcome to Florida. You guys aren't the only one looking to come to this oasis of freedom. Thank you.